Hello from Innomics. In this video, we're going to explain what asymmetric information, adverse selection, and moral hazard are, how they are related to one another, and why they are important to understand. If you want more economics content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Asymmetric information is when one party has more information about a good or a service than another in an economic exchange. In any complex economy, Asymmetries of information are everywhere. They allow people and businesses to become more productive within their chosen specialization. For example, a doctor may have more information about a patient's medical condition than the patient themselves. However, the doctor's superior medical knowledge was attained through years and years of intensive medical training. It would simply be impractical for the patient to also specialize in medicine at the expense of knowledge in another field. Economies thus benefit from an effective division of labour and shared knowledge. Adverse selection occurs, however, when the better informed party uses the asymmetric balance of information to take advantage of another party before the exchange or agreement has taken place. In other words, when the party with less information is at a disadvantage in a market to a party with more information. The unequal access to information can lead to a breakdown in the ability of buyers and sellers to agree the price or quantity of a good or service in any given market. Market exchanges consequently become less efficient and, in extreme cases, adverse selection can lead to market failure. Adverse selection is often an issue in insurance markets. This is because insurance providers often know less about their customer's risk level than the customer themselves. Oscar wants to purchase car insurance as he knows he is an unsafe driver. He drives way too fast and it's only a matter of time before he gets into an accident. Conversely, the insurance provider in this example cannot reliably tell how safe Oscar is behind the wheel. The insurer and Oscar therefore have asymmetric information. Oscar has an invested interest in taking out car insurance because he knows he is more likely to make a claim in the future. Insuring unsafe drivers like Oscar who cannot be reliably identified before offering an insurance policy, pushes up the cost to the insurer. Consequently, prices also rise for safe drivers too. The safe driver knows they are unlikely to claim, and therefore they no longer deem the purchase of car insurance as a sensible investment. This inflates insurance premiums further, as the market becomes dominated by unsafe drivers like Oscar, who are more costly to insure. This is the problem of adverse selection. Moral hazard occurs on the other hand after a deal has been made between two parties with asymmetric information and one party then changes their behaviour as a result. Oscar also purchased theft and damage cover when he got his new auto insurance policy. The price of the policy was based on Oscar telling the insurance provider that he always parks his car in a secure garage. There's asymmetric information here because only Oscar knows for certain whether he always parks his car in the locked garage. The moral hazard arises when Oscar might, for the sake of convenience, start parking his car on the street rather than in the secure garage. Now the insurer, not himself, would have to pay out in the case of damage or theft. Oscar has changed his behaviour but will not suffer the consequences personally of the greater risk associated with parking his car on the street rather than in the garage. This is an example of moral hazard. Insurance providers and regulators have developed various ways to address the problems of adverse selection and moral hazard. Insurance might be made compulsory, for instance. Therefore, safer drivers can get insurance at a lower price because the average risk of all those insured is lower now than when it was only drivers like Oscar with insurance. Additionally, many insurers offer no claims bonuses to incentivize people not to act more recklessly once insured. Of course, these problems are a lot more complicated in real life than presented here. For more information, check out our extended definitions, which you can find linked in the description to this video. Innomics is the site for economists. We support your career journey from finding degree programs and scholarships, courses and conferences, right through to getting top senior jobs in academia and industry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more economics video content or check out our website for the latest opportunities, conferences and advice.